I'm Tom Fonz, host of The Best List. Today we take a look at the films and TV series that tackled that ancient and glorious subject matter. Do you care if it falls? What? The Roman Empire? F*** oh, it. <laughs> It's the top 10 Roman Empire films and TV shows. Number 10, Centurion, a violent and bloody film, surprisingly from the director of The Descent. This movie isn't one for the history books, but it has some great battle scenes. And it doesn't hurt that it stars Magneto, Davos from Game of Thrones, and McNulty. Let's see what you're made of, she-wolf. <laughs> Number nine, Spartacus. This star series was not the same after Andy Whitfield's sad and unexpected death. He was an amazing Spartacus. The bringer of rain, the slayer of Theocles, the champion of Capua. I present to you, Spartacus! However, the show lives on, and it still delivers the same pulse-quickening, 300-esque, blood-splattering entertainment. Number 8, Quo Vadis. It was filmed in Rome, had 110 speaking parts, and a total cast of 30,000. This movie is quite a sight to see. You will see thousands upon thousands of players appearing in a single scene. No achievement in entertainment history has equaled the panoramic spectacle, the splendor, the power, and the compelling human drama of Kovalev. Frankly, it's more spectacle than substance, but there are some great performances in it, especially from Peter Ustinov as the infamous Emperor Nero. The world is mine, and mine to end. And amongst all the cinematic gaudiness, there are some very powerful scenes. <laughs> Number 7, Rome. HBO has a nearly flawless track record when it comes to creating brave new TV shows. The Sopranos, The Wire, Game of Thrones, and Rome was no exception. Why don't you and the 13th all line up and suck my... Sadly, it was short-lived, but in two seasons, it gave us captivating characters, intense drama, and possibly a kid more annoying than King Joffrey. Do not speak of her. I piss on her. I shit on her. Oh, who am I kidding? No one is more annoying than King Joffrey. This one's your father. This one here. Look at it and see what happens to traitors. He promised to be merciful. I was. I gave him a clean death. Number six, I, Claudius. Sure, it looks like a daytime soap opera, but do not be fooled by the show's appearance. It is epic. Not in its sets or action sequences, but in its acting. Is your experience better than that? As for being half-witted, well, what can I say? Except that I have survived to middle age with half my wits, while thousands have died with all of theirs intact. Evidently, quality of wits is more important than quantity. It stars Derek Jacobi, John Hurd, Patrick Stewart, and let's see if you can recognize this powerhouse actor. Now, there is something that you ought to know before he arrives, so that you won't be taken totally by surprise. Gimli! Come, Gimli! We're gaining on them! I'm wasted on cross-country! We dwarves are natural sprinters! Number five, Julius Caesar. Shakespeare's tragic tale starring James Mason and everyone's favorite bug swallower, Marlon Brando. You take the others who were made to think, but who can't act. You take...
and I swallowed a bug. This 1953 adaptation is the absolute best, so go ahead and skip the Charlton Heston one. Which, by the way, his Mark Antony speech gets weirdly political. From my cold, dead hands. Number four. The fall of the Roman Empire. Oh my god, a movie you've never heard of is in the top four? What, what? What, what? In the butt. If you know this movie, kudos. It's a phenomenal film starring Alec Guinness, Sophia Loren, James Mason, just to name a few, and quite frankly, everyone should know this movie. Duel to the death with javelins between the Caesar who was a god and the only man who dared to fight him. And if you have seen it and you don't like it... Boy, you are nuts. N-V-T-S nuts. What's your number three movie? I'll give you a hint. I premiered in 1960. I star Kirk Douglas. I am... I'm Spartacus! 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 Stanley Kubrick, Kirk Douglas, Sir Lawrence Olivier, this movie needs no explanation because if you've seen it, I'm preaching in the choir. And if you haven't, why haven't you seen this movie? Free man dies, he loses the pleasure of life. The slave loses his pain. Death is the only freedom a slave knows. That's why he's not afraid of it. That's why we'll win. Number two, Gladiator. With Ridley Scott, you expect nothing short of spectacular, and that's exactly what Gladiator is. Thrilling, spectacular, and at times, very graphic. <laughs> it's Russell Crowe's best performance, second only to The Insider, and it's Joaquin Phoenix's best role, unless you count that bearded, rapping jackass he played. What, uh... Well, can you tell us about your days with the Unabomber? Thankfully, his rapping career died just like his character in Gladiator. Okay, Charlton Heston fans, rest easy. He makes on the list at number one with a film that won a record-breaking 11 Academy Awards. Your eyes are full of hate. 41. That's good. Hate keeps a man alive. It gives him strength. From the chariot race to the meeting of Jesus, this movie is a classic through and through. Oh, and let's not forget the classic ramming speed scene. Ramming speed! Sorry, not that one. This one. Ramming speed. Well, that's it for our top 10 Roman Empire films and TV shows. I am dying to find out what the comments are on this episode. Knife. Knife. Not thrilling, but knife. Oh, well, it's just the first comment. Maybe they'll get better. Let him... die. Wait. No. No, 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 no! Be sure to subscribe and comment. Ow. If you think he's just another pretty face, you're wrong. And if you think you can talk down to him, you are definitely wrong. Condescend me, man. Kill you, man. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.